Hi, I'm Stan Yan, writer and artist for the zombie picture book, There's a Zombie in the Basement. Before I get to my t-shirt prep demo, I'm happy to announce that with two days remaining, we have crossed our first stretch goal at $3,500, which gets all of my backers at the $25 hardcover book level or above a free Zombie Girl refrigerator magnet to be sent along with the book when it's shipped. Our next stretch goal incentive will occur at the $4,000 level when I will create a There's a Zombie in the Basement coloring sheet downloadable by any of my campaign backers. So be sure to spread the word amongst your social media friends on Twitter, Facebook, or Instagram for a chance to win a free school visit in my last social media contest drawing, which will commence upon the close of my campaign on Monday just after 9.30 a.m. Denver time. So on to my t-shirt prep tutorial. This is a t-shirt which I'll be silk screening at Indie Ink. I don't want to pay for any more than three screen colors, so I'm going to remove the black line work and show you how. This might be a little bit of overkill, but I want to make sure that there's no confusion on their end, that I only want three screens, not four. This is the original colorized image from the back cover of my book, simplified with only the flat colors of purple, green, black, and white. You may notice that my shadow and highlight layers are turned off. First, I will select my background. Using my eyedrop tool, I select a pen color to reflect her hair, and using the paint bucket tool on the background layer, I'm changing the background to better reflect how the image might look on a black t-shirt for my reference and indie inks. It looks kind of indistinct for me. Maybe putting a white line around the image will help. To do this, I'll have to duplicate the image. I have all the image layers organized inside my folder that I'm going to duplicate. So I right click on the folder and select duplicate from the drop menu. Before I do an outline, let me fix my signature, which you may have noticed disappeared into the background. If I go to image adjustments, invert, that reverses it back to white. I'm going to right click on the new duplicate layer to merge the group. With this new merged layer, I'm going to use the FX feature to create a uniform stroke around the image. Here's how I select the color for that. And I'm setting it at 30 pixels. Oops, it looks like it did a stroke around my signature and I'll, I'll fix that next. All right, since this is its own layer now, I'm just going to go ahead and take the masking tool and mask off my signature and uh, delete it. And then I'm going to go to the old group, uh, duplicate my signature, drag it up. I go ahead and uh, command I or invert it. And there we go. Now, the other thing I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to go ahead and select a black copy, which I created when I create this image. It's a black um, uh, copy of the black channel. And, um, oh wait, let me go ahead and, and copy this layer first. Now, I'm going to go ahead and clear it. So when I turn off the eyeball on the background layer, you can see that the black is gone. This shirt is a reward you can add on to your reward if you get the doll or elected the retail level by scrolling down to the bottom of the campaign page. Or on your phone, it would be available if you clicked on the campaign link under the video. Don't forget, backers of this project will get to see more instructional art tutorials relating to my creation of this project.